Hi guys, welcome to Linksar YouTube channel. My name is Ramesha and I am your online instructor. So what's in this video? In this video I will tell you how to assign multiple static IP addresses into single NIC in RHEL 8. So guys, let's begin the topic. But before start the lab session, we have to understand few points, which is why we need multiple static IP address in the same NIC card. In Linux operating system, we have the flexibility to assign multiple static IP addresses to the same interface through which we can access our server with different IP addresses from different network. So in this type of scenario, we need multiple IP addresses. So guys, let's start the lab session. And this is my virtual box dashboard. And here I have two tested virtual machine. First one is a Linux server and second one is a client machine. Okay. So I move to the, my first virtual machine, which is Linux server. So I click on the show. Here it is. And uh, Firstly, I log into with my root user and we'll show you the host name and OS release version and the IP address of this machine. So I log in with root, assign the password. Here I am. Okay. Now, first of all, let's view the host name and the OS release version. So the command is hostname ctl. You can see my currently static hostname is server1.example.com and currently I'm using Red Hat Enterprise Linux 8.0. And now if I go with the IP address, so I have the command IPAS, IP address show. When I press enter, see. You can see my attached network interface is ENP0S3. It could be different in your case. So further move to next, you have to verify and sure about the available and attached network interface. Apart of that, we have one more command to identify the available network interface, which is NMCLI. So you can go with NMCLI and connection show. See, or otherwise we have one more command NMCLI device status, dev status. So from here we can identify our available network interface and their available state. It should be connected. Okay. So if I again run IPAS, this time I mentioned the interface ENP0S3 and press enter. So you can see presently I have only one static IP address assigned with this network interface, which is 192.168.0.1. So now the point come how we can assign multiple static IP address. So we have a different ways to assign multiple static IP address to a single NSC. Let's start one by one. So firstly, I start with the network configuration file. I go to the location where I find the network interface configuration file, which is slash etc sysconfig network hyphen scripts. And if I type here ls command, I got my NIC configuration file, which is ifc if cfz enp 0s3. So I just open this file using viimeter. Okay, and uh, I let me set the line number first. Okay, you can see we have already set the entry for 192.160.0.1. Uh, look at the line number 16, IPADDR. Okay, and prefix that means a subnet box gateway that is 24. So I uh, now to set the additional IP address, I just mentioned two lines which is IPADDR and prefix. So I just copy and modifying it. So say 2YY. Go to the bottom and just paste and i mentioned ip r one and modify the ip address that is 192.160.0. dot this time i said 10 and prefix will be the same ip r one ip address and then prefix one that is 24. so i set 192.160.0. dot 10 ip address ip r one means we are trying to set one more ip address similar way we can go with ip r 2 ip r 3 and many more and prefix will be the set as your ip address range in my case it is c class ip address so a prefix will be 24 that means my subnet marks will be 255.255.255.0 okay so now just simple save and quit from there and uh, so uh, in this way, we have assigned one additional IP address to this NIC. But in order to activate this, we have to run the few command, which is system system CTL and reload what network manager network manager services. It will reload the NIC configuration file and run one more command that is if up ENP 0 S3. So this command will activate the configuration for the same. Now time to verify the entry. Uh, so I run the command again IPAS ENP0S3. 
I'll look at that. We can see that it shows me both IP address again the same interface which is ENP0S3 and IP address is 0.1 as well as 0.10. So this is the first method. Now move to the next method which is NMCLI command. So I run the NMCLI. NMCLI command uh, we can also assign uh, the additional IP address to the network interface and the command will be NMCLI connection modify interface name that is ENP0S3 and plus IPv4 dot addresses and whatever the IP address you want to assign 192.168.0. Uh, I'd said uh, 20 slash gateway that is 20 uh, prefix marks that is 24 okay press enter plus IPv4 address means I'm uh, adding one more IP address okay so this command will set additional IP address to the same NIC now again we have to follow the same steps means reload the network management services and run the FOP command so I said one more time system CTL reload network manager and if up ENP0 S3 now time to check let's verify the entry so again I run IPAS ENP0 S3 and look at that you can see now again we have one more new IP addresses which we have set in the previous command that is 192.168.0.30 using NMCLI command okay now move to the other method which is uh, using NMTUI command NMTUI NMTUI command is a text user interface for controlling network manager so assign additional IP address to the same interface just type NMTUI hyphen edit and press enter now select the interface and go to the edit button okay here we have to use tab and the keyboard arrow keys and go to the address option so I just go with address click on add assign one more IP address 192.168.0. this time I said 30 slash 24 okay and just scroll down and save and quit from there so slowly okay said okay and quit from there okay great now again we have to follow the same steps do not forget to reload the network manager services and then if up command so every time whenever you have changed the things you have to reload and if up the ENP 0s3 so let's verify the entry again with IPAS ENP 0s3 command look at that here you can see you can see we have one more new IP address which we have set using NMTUI edit command that is 192.168.0.30 now move to the last method which is IP aliasing we can create the IP alias to the same interface and assign the new static IP address so for assign the new static IP using IP aliases we have to go to the NIC configuration file so again etc sysconfig network hyphen scripts and if I type ls here, I got my ifcsg enp 3 file. Simply just copy it first. So ip, we run the command cp ifcfg enp 3 and just colon 1. So now I press enter and open ifcfg colon 1. And let me set the line number first. Okay. And now I'm using vi meter and going to modify few entries. So in the name and the device line section, see if I'm talking about where's the name, line number 12 and line number 14. Name and the device option, uh, I'm going to replace ENP0 S3 with ENP0 S3 colon 1. So insert mode colon 1, similarly with the device colon 1, assign the new IP address range, I said this time 40, prefix mark will be 24 great and no need of line number 21 22 23 24 25 and 26 so i just remove it that so go to the command mode remove that remove remove no needed great just save and now just save and quit from there so i just save and quit now repeat the same process what uh, that is reload the network manager okay and if up if up enp 0 as 3 great now let's uh, verify the entry so I have the option I can run IFCFG IPAS 0 ENP 0 as 3 and look at that we have another IP address 192.168.0.40 even if I run if config command you can see I have a ENP 0 as 3 colon 1 interface that is IP aliasing okay 
so this is how we can assign a multiple static ip address now in order to test all these ip addresses i move to my other tested virtual machine which is station one so uh, i log into the client machine and this is my station one i log in first with root user and let's verify the ip address of this machine so i said host name hyphen i look at that the currently ip address is 192.160.2 so now i ping with all given range one by one so i said ping hyphen c 192.168.0.10 and counting will be i said two is sufficient for me look at that 2 10 say 20 great say 30 okay and say 40 okay so here you can see we are uh, we are getting the proper response from the given ip address it means we have properly set it and it is in working condition so guys this is how uh, we can assign multiple static ip address to the single nic in ral 8 and finally this is the end of this topic hopefully you enjoyed and learned new things soon i will come up with another new interesting topic till then keep practicing uh, if you feel something I have missed or you wanted to know more something else, please leave your comment and subscribe my YouTube channel for more updates. If you like this video, please do not forget to like, share and subscribe my channel and press the bell icon button for the latest update. Thanks for watching. Stay safe and goodbye.